Now I want to speak to the, you know, the guys out there and the gals out there, just getting started investing in real estate, or at least, you know, you're trying to make it. You know, you're like, you're sick and tired of your dead end job, like I was, and um, you know, you really try to make it in life. You know, let me give you some words of advice. So, you know, like many people, they're like frustrated. You know, you work in a dead end job and you're like, man, how am I going to get out of this situation? And, um, you know, I kind of felt like that as well. You know, coming from um, Brownsville, Brooklyn and, you know, really hard not life in Brooklyn. So, you know, I had to make some sacrifices. And um, one of the things I did was I had to join the military because I realized that um, not having an, you know, a, a foundation that you could build off of wasn't going to work in America. You know, I hear a lot of people like Grant Cardone and um, even Joe Rogan. I heard him once say, you know, uh, they were having a discussion about education, I believe. But I think that you do need a college degree. Um, especially if you're a minority, you need a college degree. You don't have any connections. Because let's be real, right? A lot of um, multimillionaires, they use OPM to get rich, other people's money. I'm not saying that some people, people are going to ask you about your college degree. But when you deal with people, it shows that you have a, a background or education when you have to deal with them. Just the verbiage you use, the way you carry yourself. So I joined the military to help with that. Also, I, jo I picked the Marines. I remember the reason I joined the Marines is on uh, one day um, I got jumped uh, while I was in a club. My boys weren't around and, um, and I got jumped. And um, I remember I came to bring the pain or go for the brain. I can't remember the name of that song, but it was a Method Man song. I think it was pain or something like that. Anyway, so the guy, one of the guys was uh, in the club, got um, shoved. And he bumped up against me. And I pushed him back. And then, um, or vice versa. I can't remember really how it started. And we got the tussling. I got him on the ground, was punching him on the ground. Next thing you knew, I felt like 10 tin boots hit me in the face. And he had his crew around. My crew were off gallivanting with women or whatever they were doing, but they weren't around. And um, so I got jumped. I used my martial arts skills that I did learn to roll and get away, and that's another story. But I, I got away and um, I remember going home and um, you know, my mother came in the living room, I was just lit there. She flipped the lights on and she saw um, my face all busted. She had this look of disgust on her face and then she turned off the lights, went back in the room, didn't say a word to me. And you know, being from the Caribbean, you know, I didn't want to shame my family. And I realized, you know what? I got to do something different, something drastic. So one day I was watching TV and I saw these guys jumping out of planes and, you know, they had big guns on them. And, you know, I like guns. Um, at the time I was a wannabe gangster. Um, you know, Crimeville, um, Brooklyn. Um, anyway, it's another story. So, you know, I saw these guys and I, I said to my mom, hey, who's these guys? So it's the military. And I said, oh, wow. You know, I said, and they teach you how to shoot guns? I said, yeah. And they pay for your college? Yeah. And you get to travel the world? Yeah. So I said to my mom, well, which one is the toughest? And her exact words to me were, well, son, everybody loves the Marines. So the very next day, I found myself um, down at the recruiting station, um, the Flatbush extension of Brooklyn. 
and uh, I think it's still there. Anyway, I went, um, walked into the recruiter's office. I remember the recruiter saying, you know, I was looking through the window and, um, you know, I saw the recruiter inside. He came out, he said, young man, how may I help you? He wasn't much older than me, you know, uh, early 20s. I was probably, I was 17 at the time. 17 going on 18, something like that. And um, <laughs> in my stupidity, I said to him, yeah, I'm here, learn how to bust guns. Now, I, I was a little hoodlum. So <laughs> that was my vocabulary at the time. I'm here to learn how to bust guns. <laughs> and he didn't know what to say. He was like, <sighs> kind of like confused look at his face and then he said well come on in you're in the right place <laughs> so anyway I went into there uh, to his office and I signed up with a Marine Corps and the Red Swiss history and you know of course I used the uh, military to help pay for college got my college degree in real estate investing and um, and you know um, but I, I started investing before I had the degree I actually, you know, um, started investing. The recession happened. I took that recession because there was no business to go ahead and start um, getting my degree. And it's helped me tremendously, you know, especially now I'm going into the next phase of my investing career, which is commercial real estate. Um, I've done residential um, fix and flips. I've done new construction. Um, now my sights are set on apartment buildings, uh, strip malls, um, stuff like that, um, storage facilities, maybe even industrial, um, especially, uh, and you know, believe it or not, office buildings, even though they're going through a tough time right now, I'm interested in office buildings um, because you're gonna be able to pick these things up for 10, 20 cents on a dollar. Um, you know, if you haven't been through a recession, you wouldn't understand the bloodbath that's about to happen. But it's going to happen. So, you know, not so much in residential, but definitely in commercial real estate. They're about to go through it, that's for sure. So anyway, you know, I, I disagree with um, folks who say having an education is not important. Um, I value my education. Uh, it can't be taken away from you. You know, it's the one thing you got. And the reason why I value it, it is because when the, the crash happened in 2008, I remember, you know, there was no business. Like, there was no lending. There, there was everything grinded to a halt. My entire business that was making, I believe, $3.6 million in 2006 was the revenue um, that's from the IRS went to zero by 2008 because just there was no activity you know um, and I lost probably five million dollars worth of real estate you know not I, that I, I, I foreclosed on it just in pure equity and then selling it to pay off your lenders because back then there was no DSCR loans like they have now there were no loans for investors that's why a lot of people had to fix it flips there was no burr strategy buy you know what was it buy uh, rent rehab you know whatever there was no burr strategy there was the four F's find it um, fund it fix it and flip it right that was the, the strategy most investors employed so we had to, 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 to sell the assets to satisfy investors because you didn't want to piss off the investors. You know, it's just the right thing to do. You know, I, even though at a personal loss, I paid back my investors, you know. So it was a tough situation um, that that recession uh, really put us in. So anyway, back to, to why I got the education was because... I remember going looking for a job and the only job that was available at the time was of a dog handler TSA that was it so when I went to apply for the job you know I showed up for my interview 
and there's a book that they have there of all the people applicants of applying for this one position and when the lady opened the book I could see at the top of the list they had PhD PhD masters um, one guy was like a colonel they had um, you know majors and all of these people apply for one bloody job as a dog handler now that's how bad it was in the recession guys so when people say that the education is not important how are you going to compete with a, a PhD or a colonel in the military for that same job you're not going to get it so you know don't let people fool you and say hey education is not important that you could get wealthy without education Look, those are people that have already made it also they're older than you the game has changed for them right the game has changed for you sorry you know when they did it they got in early right they got their investors they pulled their money they were able to buy real estate 10 cents for the dollar now you're gonna do it you know you you may not be so lucky right and you may not be able to stick to real estate can't show you now because I'm driving but I'm passing a totally vacant um, um, you know strip mall totally vacant you know and this is the same signs that I saw before the last recession and I'm seeing it again I'm seeing it again so you know the recession doesn't happen right away though you know people think it happens right away no it takes a while to sink in so, you know, the main thing now is to be prepared. You know, like I'm cleaning up all of my um, issues. I'm, you know, trying to uh, finish up my projects, um, pay off my debts, satisfy the investors, and then eventually hoard cash while I'm convincing other investors to get ready. You know, like we're doing stuff like opening our fund right now um you know go to um black diamond uh capital fund I believe that's how we have it dot com or just you know uh revelopers dot com and leave us a message to learn more about that coming up but you know that's what we're gonna have to do we gotta prepare now for the coming collapse of the commercial market and take advantage of that situation. You know, one man's rags is gonna be another man's riches. And here's the funny thing you're gonna see. A lot of people who are very cocky um, are, are gonna change their tune, you know? Uh, I was even watching a guy, he's not a cocky guy, very humble guy sometimes, but I was watching Ben Muller and he was saying how, you know, it's been a rough year for him. Um, you know, his 3% rates so are now you know uh 8% 9% so it you know a lot of investors are getting killed you know so what's going to happen well you know it's anybody's guess but you got to be prepared you got to be ready cuz when the deals come you know they they come for a short time and you got to pull the trigger can't procrastinate you know so so that's what I'm preparing for now I'm preparing for when the deals are about to come you know so um, anyway I'm almost to my destination I'm trying to get down this weight got to get everything ready so I'm gonna go pick up a salad try to do a salad diet and uh, you know got to get the body right get the mind right you know get the spirit right and hopefully that helps get the finances right as well all right so everybody hey everything will be all right man just you know like and subscribe i'll impart as much knowledge knowledge as i can on you you know because i've been through the last recession and um some moves you can make to elevate yourself right you know and one major thing is you know i'll go back to education that's a surefire way of elevating your lot in life
get you that education, man. You know, <laughs> don't listen to what people say. They try to sell you products, you know, sell you nonsense. Get yourself an education, all right? It will come in handy and nobody can take it from you. And besides, they, there's also, I, I heard that um, over the lifespan of a person, a person with a college degree earns like a million more dollars than a person without a college degree. You can look it up, you know, and check it out. But, I, you know, that one that I heard about, that's true, I heard. Um, also, another reason, you know, I learned this later on, for the Marines, at the time when I joined the Marine Corps, I believe it was 50% of the Fortune 500 companies were either owned or ran by former Marines. So that's another reason why joining the Marine Corps was a no-brainer for me, you know? And I, of course, I want to be a CEO, well, I'm a CEO, but I want my company to be a five, Fortune 500 company as well. Why not, all right? They did it. Why can't you do it, you know? Of course you can do it, guys. Everything's possible, all right? So like and subscribe, over and out.